Jewish, Polish, Ukrainian soul food, the pierogies, the knishes, the blintzes, the borscht and the lox, as well as the diner essentials, but it's the ambiance as much as the food that keeps people coming back. A little over a decade ago, b &H owner Fazi Atta Wahed wanted a break from his crowded lunch counter and ventured across the avenue for a breather at the stage. Can we hear for the stage? The romantic stage. A new immigrant from Poland, Alexander Smigielska, Ola for short, not only took his order, but wiped his smudged eyeglasses clean. That's the way a relationship begins. <laughs> That was it, Fauzi pursued Ola, a friendship was born, the couple married at Brooklyn Borough Hall in 2007, Ola became co-owner of B&H, and thus a former Catholic from Poland and a Muslim from Egypt becomes a proud standard bearer of the kosher restaurant. <laughs> Success almost met its end on the afternoon of March 26, 2015, when an illegal gas connection caused an explosion that rocked the East Village, killing two innocent men. It leveled three buildings and shuttered businesses up and down the block for months, and some never recovered. B&H was forced to close for five months and nearly didn't reopen, but thanks to support from countless regulars, including Eleanor Nowen is here. She and I were there for the grand reopening. Raising tens of thousands of dollars through crowdsourcing and fundraising, they made a triumphant return in August 2015. We were there. While b &H was still closed from the blast, the daughter of one of the original owners noted in a letter of support, b &H was more than just a place to grab a quick bite. It was a place as close to home for so many who had left the only homes they had ever known behind, a place where new friendships were forged, stories were exchanged, and people sought comfort in the comfort food that reminded them of the lives they once had. This tradition of friendships for and camaraderie among fellow patrons continues today thanks to its present owners who are also seeking the American dream. As one ardent b &H fan stated, I grew up in a household that believed food is love, and that's what you get at B and H. The restaurant is a special place, such a part of the fabric of the East Village neighborhood. It's fabric that holds neighborhoods together. For overcoming almost insurmountable adversity to serve food, love, and a community for 77 years, GDSHP is proud to award B and H Dairy with the 2017 Village Award, and here they are, Fauzi and Ola. I've got a lot of
very special to BNH over the years. First of all, who here BNH customer? Please raise your hand. Thank you. Now I see you. All the best. <laughs> we uh, we want to thank you uh, most of all you. Um, without your love and support over the years, especially when we are closed for five months after the second Advent fire, will not be here today. Your donation to the small nuts and your current campaign to a special donation help us pay for the many upgrades and the city required. From the day we bought BNH Daddy, we promised not to change the traditional vegetarian daily kosher menu. It means hala, borscht, pierogi, sapkevich, matzo bread, and every dish with love. <laughs> to our customer, we love you from the bottom of our heart. Leo, <laughs> he worked in the DNH for 27 years. Yeah. <laughs> he be next to us for five months. He doesn't change his job. He don't leave us alone after five months. He uh, he's back at BNH like all uh, all the rest of the employees. Rafi he worked 20 years. Bernardo 19. Um, I'm 12. Mike 11. Bobusha 11. And Saeed 6. So pretty much we are a, a big team, family team. Okay. Bernardette Nation. This is the um, lady from the Department of Small Business Services. She really saved BNH from the trouble, what you get. Susan Stetzer, the script of manager of the community board tree. Everyone at the Cooper Square community, Sarah Romanowski and Carol Crum at the East Village community. <sighs> My heart beat. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> okay. For sitting for our first Crown family thing. Lindsay Pitchell and Paul Clean. And our neighbors Jimmy Carbon and Johnny Stensor, um, Ellen Nerman and Johnny Stenson. There you are. Okay, I make sure I correct you. Thank you so much. And so many others, but you know, it's too much. So <laughs> if I write all this, you know, it's gonna be like uh, till ten nine. Okay. Florence uh, Bergson Goldberg, the daughter of the teenage found A.B. Bergson and his wife Nini. Florence grew up on the right around the corner on the 6th Street. She gave us uh, so many great old photos of BNH. So um, tonight she is not here, but uh, um, next month we will make a party at the BNH for the work on the body. Okay? And the one thing I skip two pages. Last month, yes. Okay. And uh, Eleanor, she gets the t-shirt. Can you drop it one second, get up please? Okay, we're gonna make it some games. <laughs> last thing, I promise, last thing. Okay, she has the name in the t-shirt. The Hala por favor, right? So what is the first letter on the t-shirt? C. C. Okay, give me a second one. H. H. Give me a third. H. Four.